to start with the chapter let's try to understand ki what is capital structure in very simple words capital structure is a mixture of debt and equity capital now you must understand ki uh, what is debt capital and what is equity capital debt capital means borrowed funds the funds or the capital which is raised by the company by issuing debentures bonds etc so this uh this type of issue is called debt capital and the other type of capital is equity equity share capital where the company issues shares equity shares preference shares right so capital structure is a combination is a mixture of the debt capital plus the equity capital fine okay again a very important question that is always strikes in the exams uh, the question is factors that influence the capital structure what are those factors or elements that affect the capital structure ki how much debt capital is to be raised by a company and how much equity capital is to be raised right so i have written here five factors that basically influence the capital structure of a company what are those the first very important one trading on equity number 2 nature of business number 3 purpose of raising fund number 4 tax and number 5 cost okay fine now what is this trading on equity i have written the definition few two lines about this so that your concept on trading on equity will be clear it is a process of taking more loans to increase the return of the shareholders right it is a process of taking more loans try to concentrate on these words now here loans refers to you know debt capital okay so here company uh, takes uh, more funds by issuing debentures and bonds so that they can Uh, they can pay a good return to the shareholders okay a company uses debt capital to purchase fixed assets to generate more returns than the usual rate of interest fine so whatever the debt capital that the company raises it uses that capital to purchase fixed assets like machinery equipment and all that so that they can produce more and more of goods and their sales volume will be higher so that they will be in profits and they can pay a part of their profit to the uh, shareholders fine so i think that will make your concept clear about this trading on equity let's go on to the second one nature of business a manufacturing company has more risks so it should raise funds from equity share capital whereas a trading company can raise funds from debt capital as we know that manufacturing company uh, it has more risk because it produces uh, a type of goods and you know uh, it may flourish in the market or it may be uh, flop in the market so it has more risk fine so you know a manufacturing company generally uh, uses uh, equity cap it raises funds by equity capital fine but a trading company whereas has less risk so here what you have to keep it in mind that uh, a company uh, which has less risky business can raise funds by debt capital and a company which carries more risk right so it can raise capital through equity share capital fine let's move on to the third question uh, sorry third point purpose now what is the purpose if funds are required for fixed capital a company may issue shares whereas if funds are required for working capital it may raise from debt capital so it depends on the purpose of the company for what purpose the company is raising funds fine uh, basically there are two purpose here one is to uh, to purchase fixed assets or fixed capital and to meet the working capital requirement okay fixed capital working capital now fixed capital is generally uh, used for buying machines assets fixed assets and all that so in that case the company uh, raises funds by equity share capital 
and if a company has to meet the working capital or day to day expenses or the operating expenses then it may raise funds from uh, debt capital right so that's very easy the fourth one is tax now this is very important a high tax rate makes debt, uh, debt cheaper so more uh, funds can be raised in the form of debt capital if tax rates are higher that will make the debt cheaper so uh, try to concentrate on this line this particular line it's very important if tax rate is higher your debt will be cheaper right so in that case the company generally concentrate more on raising funds in the form of debt capital fine right. the last point is cost more debts can be raised if their cost of raising is less you know whenever a company uh, tries to raise funds through various sources it has to incur certain expenses and if the cost of raising funds or if there are more expenses the company will switch over to another type of capital right so suppose if raising uh, raising capital through debts is cheaper then the company will go for that and if you know raising capital by issuing shares is cheaper the company will obviously raise funds through that source right all right guys uh, let's move on to the next topic of this chapter and this question is also very important okay and the question is features of optimal capital structure now what is an optimal capital structure actually it is the best mixture of debt and equity capital that you know uh, that enhances uh, the uh, the uh, the returns of the company that enhances the profit uh, profitability of the company okay it is the best type of uh, combination that the company should you know consider should choose right so you know there are few features there are few considerations for a company uh, to decide like what should be the optimal capital structure so there are again five points return risk flexibility capacity and control okay so one by one we will discuss first one return now return here means uh, the company should choose uh, that type of uh, the sources of funds where the return on equity is high roe means return on equity where Uh, it is able to uh, pay higher returns to the shareholders so that uh, the company can uh, you know increase its market value fine so the first thing is return high return on equity second risk now risk return trade off should be maximum uh, in the previous videos i told you about this that risk return there is a very close relationship between this uh, let me explain you once again higher the risk higher will be the return so that is the principle right so any source of raising funds which carries more risk you know will pay good return right so it should be maximum then flexibility flexibility means uh, you know the raising funds should meet the new opportunities the company can easily uh, you know raise funds Uh, to invest in new opportunities new ventures right and basically that is why a debt capital is more preferable right then capacity now here capacity refers to the nature of assets that determine the capacity of raising funds uh, you know uh, assets here you know tangible intangible if assets are intangible that will you know reduce the capacity of a company fine so this is again one of the features of optimal capital structure and the last one is control now see uh, the debt uh, you know the the persons or the firms which provide debt to the company uh, are borrowers or creditors of the company they are not the owners of the company whereas shareholders they are the owners of the company and they control the working the operations of a company so in that point of view we will see that the control of the company you know should be free from external uh, people external sources fine right? so it should operate freely right so in that case you know debt capital is more preferable 
generally uh, you know most of the companies prefer debt capital like you know uh, raising funds through debentures or uh, bonds rather than you know by issuing equity shares